Hey, this is Brooke Drum with PrinterBot.com, and I, of course, have a new Simple with the touchscreen and the Wi-Fi, and I'm using the cloud service here. And so you can see that my printer is hooked hooked up. I call it the Drum Estate, and I have a, I've downloaded a 3D Benchy from Umagine, and I have uploaded it straight to the cloud, and I'm using Simple settings here. Uh, the resolution is high. So it's going to be 0.1, standard infill. So some people want more control than that, though. Uh, I could send this to my printer right now, but let's say I wanted more control over what's happening with the slicing. Well, now you can open up Cura and what you know, whatever slicer you have, give G-Code a try. So that means you're going to slice it here on your desktop, and that's what I'm going to do here. I've got some different settings, uh, support, point to, you know, I just kind of mixed it up on my settings. And I'm gonna save this Benchy out as a G-code file. Just call it Benchy. Put it on my desktop. So there it is. Here it is on my desktop. And the only caveat in using this, it's pretty simple. Um, keep the title really simple. And instead of a .gcode, we're going to force the extension to be a .gco. And that's important, or it will fail when you upload. So now you can see I can upload it to the cloud, the benchy.gco. It's still a text file. still has the same contents, just a different extension. And it's preparing that for the printer. It's actually taking regular G-code and switching it into the special tiny G G-code that our firmware uses right now. And I just want you to see that when you upload a SDL file, it does render our servers render an image so you can see what you're printing. Um, this is actually an individual file. There could be many files in this project folder. And here's another one. So this renders, uh, this does not render the G code. It actually just throws, it recognizes the GCO file as G code and puts a little static thumbnail on there. So when it goes over to your printer, you'll see that this is a G code file. So now that I have my custom sliced G code, I can include that in my project along with the default that I sliced here in the cloud and I can choose which ones to use. So I can send to printer. There you have it. You can use G-code in the cloud. Very cool.